the last two and a half years have been so wild, but we spoke mm -hmm. to you before pre Chernobyl release, mm -hmm. pre Joker release, pre Oscars, pre Emmys, pre all congratulations on all of your many successes. Star and women talking. Yes. Th that, those, of course, the, the latest of this, but um, I wanted to ask you about going into the pandemic because mm -hmm. a lot of, this is just the career track, you know, obviously, because we're talking about the balance of career and, and being a parent and all of that. But you are at the peak of your career so far in, in film music as a composer, winning an Oscar, and the pandemic is setting in. I'm curious about the pressure that that added to you and maybe phone calls that you were suddenly getting, but also we're kind of in this weird you know, period where things are not moving forward the way that they, they ordinarily might. Well, do you want my honest answer? Please. <laughs> Only. It was, for me, it was actually kind of nice. <laughs> because, uh, because I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really not someone that, um, you know, I've never sought out much attention and I've never been very comfortable with a lot of attention. And, and you know, I've, I've, I've been making music for over 20 years, you know, just in my own little bubble. And, and uh, you know, not that many people have been, you know, paying any attention to what I've been doing, you know, most of that time. <laughs> and that was just, you know, quite nice. <laughs> you know? <laughs> because it just meant that I was just, you know, I was, I was, and I'm very grateful for that because, um, you know, I could, I feel like I, ha I had lots of time just by myself to really settle into to who I am and what I want to create and, you know, with, without this pressure. So I, I feel like, you know, obviously when all of a sudden you're kind of thrown into the limelight, you know, like, like, um, uh, because that kind of happened to me quite quite suddenly and, and like Hilda. yeah exactly so so and and i think you know for most people you know um they were like wow who is this person and where did she come from and, and like you know all of a sudden you know a lot of people are are interested and i think if i hadn't had the 20 years before it would have probably been a lot more confusing you know and and it certainly was confusing as well you know but i feel like i was I, I I know quite well who I am and 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 uh, um, you know what kind of person I am and what kind of artist I am and uh, and I think that um, you know all of that um, yeah sudden sudden interest in me it it was it just meant that I had to you know I was going out seeing people a lot more than I normally do because normally I don't see very many people you know and that was kind of took quite a lot of effort for, for me just to be out and about so much. So for me, I was like, oh, I could really do it some time, just like not traveling and not seeing anyone. And boom, like the pandemic hit just then. So it kind of, and I, and I kind of felt like I needed to, like after all of that, you know, um, you know, kind of getting married to Mr. Oscar because you kind of like winning an Oscar, you you, you you kind of get this addition to your name because all of a sudden you're not just Hilti Gwyneth through your Academy Award winning Hilti Gwyneth. <laughs> so it's kind of like, you know, getting married and getting this addition to your addition to your name, which is, which is pretty... <laughs> Mrs. Oscar. Yeah, exactly. Which is kind of funny. But, but I think for me, it was just the perfect... Um, it was kind of perfect to just you know i didn't need to explain myself to anyone because no one was allowed to go out or see anyone anyway oh, you know so that. i just I, I i kind of took the opportunity to just rejoice and being at home <laughs> it's 